I'm holding a copy of the Alma Classics new translation by Michael Persglove. Persglove? Persglove. I don't know. Of Virgin Soil by Ivan Turgenev. I didn't buy this book. Do you know why? Look at that picture. Very nondescript, I imagine you might be thinking. However, there is a reason that I'm so glad that I possess this book. And that is right just here. Look at that. Cover image, Christopher Walker. I took this photo myself. I took it when I was invited over for a picnic at a friend's farmhouse outside of Krakow here in Poland. And another little funny thing about this book. A few years ago, I found myself in Georgia, in the magnificent city of Tbilisi. I was killing time down in the hostel's uh, living room. They had a, a supply of books up on the bookshelf. And guess what? This copy of this book was there. I took it down and I showed it to the people working in the hostel. And they were like, oh, wow, gosh, what a coincidence. I mean, that's about all it is, really. It's not like something to sing and dance about like I'm doing here. Which brings me to the book itself. It took me years to get around to reading it. Turgenev. I kept thinking Turg, Turgenev, Turgid. Ooh, it was quite boring. Basically, there's a guy that keeps beating himself up on about um, not being good enough. He's like the bastard son of a prince or something. He wants to bring, I don't know, socialism or something into Russia. So he goes off to the countryside. He falls in love with the wrong girl. I mean, she's actually the right girl. She's a very nice girl, but he doesn't really live, uh, listen to her. He doesn't really think he's good enough for her. And well, you read this and you kind of agree. You think to yourself, yeah, she could do better. And so could you if you're reading books. Uh, I haven't read Fathers and Children, which it says here was Turgenev's masterpiece. This one, it's of interest, especially if you like Russian literature, but I can think of better examples. Still, my picture. <laughs>